The first thing I learned how to do was tag, how to sign my name, and how to make it look like I've been writing graph for a long time. The second thing I learned was bubble letters, how to do a throw up real quick. After that, I started learning how to do burners, making my letters look good, how to connect my letters. After that, I learned how to do characters. After that, I learned backgrounds, and then I learned how to do everything as a whole and make it look finished and complete. And a true artist knows how to work in pen, not pencil. You gotta be able to hide your mistakes. You gotta be able to work with your mistakes. That's evolution. And that's how I was taught. Tags, bubble letters, letters, letter style, characters. Then everything else after that. My name is Fume. I write Fume Star One, but my pieces are F-U-M-E. Been writing since 79. It's now what, 93? I'm at 93. Turn it. 2003. Uh, 36, I love the game, I love the culture, everyone gets along, black, white, Latin, African, Sweden, German, doesn't matter who you are, it's a culture, it's an art thing, and it surpasses all the color barriers, and that's why I still do what I do, you can't stop, and that's my motive, motivation to keep doing what I'm doing, as well as Priz right there, who's also an old school from Brooklyn, I'm from Queens, he's from Brooklyn, Originally both old school. I read Prism, AK Pris One. Um, where you going? Don't go nowhere. Uh, the Spanish Spy. Uh, I started also. Well, I started in '77. Did a lot of black books and stuff. Then I went and I started painting on trains around '79. Started doing them. I started in '79, and I really like started from like I ended in '84, yeah. early '84, around in that area. And as far as my from when I started, which I write stand one, Spanish five, is that it's changed a lot. And you can see that a lot of the arts, especially from the European artists, like the guys are really graphic artists. And where we just learned it on our own, they learned it from maybe going to school or they like actually taught. We just picked it up off the street. The art, move, the art movement of graffiti has come quite, you know, quite far now. Uh, beautiful stuff, the colors are nice, you know. Um, but again, like Fume just said, it, it's going to be difficult to, to actually give it or for it to receive notoriety, especially like in the mainstream world. It's still looked down upon. Like, like Fume's just saying, it's going to keep going and going and going and going. It, it keeps on going until it hits its peak and like, who knows? The more they impress it, the more it's going to evolve. That's all I can say. The more you try and stop it, the more you're going to push it to a whole new level. Because keep pushing, we love that. Because like you stopped us from writing on trains with ink, now they're scratching in the window. <laughs> Our whole history in graffiti was, he's got nice letters, I think I can take them. Let's battle. We did it for so long, battling, that now the government and like the powers that be that run stuff want to battle graffiti artists. We're up for the challenge because that's how we were taught. The biggest battle um, that writers, the guys that tag like my man on my shirt. The biggest battle that they have is really against society, because that's their outlet. Fuck society. Fuck, spend money fuck on the world. Something that looks important. Here's the guy you really want to talk to, Nick One, the guy who came out with all the videos that everyone watches that made this help evolve into a global art form. This is the man you need to talk to right, right. here, because he's he the one that made it happen. Even though he has the umbrella and he's scared of the rain, <laughs> yeah. and he's humble and he's quiet, but. Well, they already got me on tape being kind of loud. <laughs> I was already, I'm sorry, it's a, I don't want to contradict, but this is, this is how it is out here. What up? I what's know, going, man. Dad? Yo, where's the fucking 60 minutes? Fucking I got a book in there I want you to sign, Lost man. Out. You, you did the cover for it. Nice. Fucking Irish. Dad, tell them, I'm, the Irish part of me is coming out. This is Nick Excuse One, me. videograph. Oh, yeah. This is Nick One. There's that one, my my wild style, little little this son. This is this is my dad. This is the guy that I can credit I raised him and shit I know now. And he's I fucking created another fucking monster. Yeah. Every Thanks, time dad. I'm through with Thanks, them, dad. they're useless for me. Dad. I, he created a monster. I can't hang out with them no more. When I create them, wow. they're good, and then wow. they go. Da, 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 da. No, we have to stay apart because we're too dangerous. That's true. That's two true. negatives make a positive. Two positive make a negative. You know, you know. too much. Ah. You just have to look for it on the wall. It's like the tree. You go like this, all right, fly, motherfucker. Next. Because he's over here, and then I'm around the corner. He has to keep it We're not that far away. It's like he steps there. When he steps out of that space, then he can go I'm, in and, and like check. Yeah. And now Nick One will do his interview. Nick One, in general, yeah, I'm, I'm a laid back, humble type of fellow these days, you know? I just do my art, and um, 
I like to let that speak for itself, man, you know? Um, thank you. It's just the problem is, and to quote Tracy 168, I believe he said something to the degree of, um, bombing is meant for kids. It's the problem is, you keep bombing as you, as once you grow into an adult, you know? Stop. So what you're witnessing here by all the people you see is a strong, a strong love for this culture, you know, and people want to see this culture thrive and survive and carry on and move on.